for the serious gamer. Next Gen Tactics. Yes. It's Guns for Hire here with a weapons demo in Modern Warfare 2, the AK Silence. Now, it's no secret that in Call of Duty 4, the AK-47 with Silencer was one of the absolute uh, most used weapons and loved weapons of, uh, of the game. I wondered why not so many people use it uh, in Modern Warfare 2. I mean, the, the one weapon I see the most in this game is actually the Scar. So I thought, well, maybe the AK is not as actually powerful or as versatile as it was in Call of Duty 4, but... And, and to be quite honest with you, I hardly ever use this weapon. I don't have, I don't think I have any camo uh, for this weapon whatsoever. So, I mean, I really don't use it. I think I unlocked some of the things for it. I don't think I even have all of the attachments at all. But I do have, obviously, the silencer. Because I wanted to have at least the silencer to compare it with the functionality and how amazing it was in uh, Call of Duty 4. And to be quite honest... I don't even know why I didn't use this weapon more often. This thing friggin' owns. Like, it was... <laughs> it was friggin' easier to get... I find it... I, I don't personally like the scar at all. I find the clip size to be way too small. And if you have to end up using, uh... What is it? The extended mags? I don't know. I just found it to be kind of a pain in the butt. I, I'd rather not use it. But this AK Silence, seriously, if you, if you guys haven't given it, like, a, a really good try... I would really, really come back to this one. I mean, for those of you that didn't really play, and I know there's a lot of you because there's some people even on my uh, clan that really never got into Call of Duty 4 at all. So they don't really know about the AK-47 and how amazing of a weapon it was, or at least how everyone liked it. I mean, I never personally used it. Um, well, at least not all that often or ever. But I know it's a favorite because tons of people, I got killed by it a lot. So I do know that it's actually a favorite. But not a lot of people use it in this one. Maybe it's, you know, it's the last one that was unlocked, and you know what, they just seem to like the other one. But this, honest to God, people, if you have not been trying this weapon, I highly recommend that you use it. Unfortunately for me, about this time that I'm making this video, you know, I've already sort of been there, done that, and I'm not probably going to be putting a lot of time and effort into, you know, playing with the AK and getting a lot of footage. I have certain videos that we make. Uh, of course, you all love the camp NGT. Nah, <laughs> probably not, but whatever. They're still coming out. Um, and a lot of the other weapons that I have to try as well in the series, just for demo purposes. And really, I mean, I'm not going to start getting into it again and start playing this because there's other things I'm getting ready for, like the agency, which is handgun only. And it brings a little bit more fun back into the game. You know what I mean? Like, if you've been playing this game as hardcore as I have since it's been released, there's really not much more for you to explore. The multiplayer is going to get just, you know, it's the same. It's uh, repetitive as, uh, you know, World at War, Call of Duty 4. I'm not saying it's the exact same, but I'm just saying the mechanics and the general idea is the same. So it gets a little bit boring. And that's why I'm doing the agency, which is handguns only. Um, and I'll put a link actually on the uh, screen here. If you guys haven't seen it yet, uh, there's a link at the bottom there. You can watch the first episode. They're not going to be coming out every single day. Um, as I said, I'm actually just getting warmed up. Likely is going to be for Black Ops. Uh, but it's kind of fun. It's challenging. Just going around, handguns only. Of course, you have equipment and knife. Uh, use your knife and everything like that. I mean, it'd be stupid if you didn't. Anyway, back to the AK. The sights on this, just as they were in Call of Duty 4, are are adequate that you do not need to have uh, red dot and I am a big user of red dot uh, you know whatever holographic point and everything like that I you know what to be quite honest I really don't care about using holographic I know there's this argument and that argument about you know whether or not the holographic site uh, actually has a tighter formation or grouping of your bullets Really, I hardly notice at all. I can barely ever notice, and I guarantee you that you can't really notice either. I know everyone's saying, oh, no, you can, you can, you can do this. Maybe it's like a couple of times you made a shot that you thought you couldn't make with the red dot, but, you know, show me a video that's showing this conclusively. I mean, I could probably do it, but I don't want to waste my time, because uh, I did it with Killzone 2 back in my robotic commentary days, uh, and I actually did go and showed... Uh, uh, bullet disbursement or round disbursement and showing how 
distance wise and using different sites would actually control the, the, the grouping of your bullets. But I don't have time to be doing that unless you guys really want to see that with the weapons and sort of put this all to rest. I mean, I can do that. And then that's what we do here, right? We do strategy tutorial base. And if you guys want to see sort of a, a document, uh, it's not always easy to do. And I can't guarantee that it is possible on here. But I can do sort of some sort of video showing the difference between a red dot and holographic point for different weapons, if you guys really want. Uh, but that's going to be a lot of begging, a lot of uh, I like this video, thumbs up, put the comments in there, and then thumbs up those. Because it's the only way I'm going to know. If one person says, yeah, do it, I'm not going to do it. Because I don't have time to do that. they will take too way too long. Anyway, as you can see here, the AK-47 is doing just fine for myself mowing down the enemy. I actually really liked it, and if I knew I liked it this much, I probably would have been using it <laughs> from a long time ago. Uh, I know Killer God actually used it. Killer God 23 of the NGT Elite, who has uh, actually, I say recently, but not too recently, a while ago sold his Modern Warfare 2. That's right. So he's not the only one that's sick and tired of it. He's just tired of this game. He doesn't want to see it anymore. He's done. He's done, done, done. But you know what? I still have things I've got to do on this. So I'm not going to be selling it. While I'm kind of in the same boat, I'm a little bit bored of Modern Warfare 2. But there's still things that I can do in it. For tutorial based, um, the agency, which is sort of renews life into it. And it's a great environment for me to be testing that. Because Call of Duty 4, they patched the weapons made it super super hard sorry I'm like gasping for air here <gasps> uh, it made it super hard to actually use your handguns like they slowed it down they put a limiter on it so you couldn't actually fire it really fast fortunately ah Akbar uh, fortunately for World at War and for Modern Warfare 2 they did not ruin handguns just because a few people actually had turbo or modded controllers you can't ruin it for everyone else, just because a few uh, rotten apples are in there. You know this, this saying, uh, a rotten apple spoils a bunch? Well, screw that. Don't let them throw that rotten apple out. That's what I say. If they're, they gotta, There's got to be a way that they can test if there's a turbo or modded, and then maybe you could just block them. But um, in the end, who really cares? Whatever. I, I'm getting to the point now where I just don't care. Noob noobs, whatever. Fine. Blow me up. I don't feel bad. I don't ever feel bad when I get killed by a new tube now. Like, it's just part of the game. It's taken me a long time to sort of get that, because normally I'm an angry little goat. Anyway, that's it. AK-47 Silence. If you haven't tried it, oh man, you're missing out on some serious ownage. I'm Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. This has been a weapons demonstration.